What's going on guys, it's your boy Baker with Chris back at you with another one. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe, give me a thumbs up, ring the notification bell, hit me up on Twitter, leave some comments in the comment section, and today we got the WrestleMania 38 predictions video. Definition of stupendous! Is that a dictionary? You're damn right, they still exist! Amazing, astounding, marvelous, astonishing! I'll even cover um, some of the WrestleMania matches that are going you know, WrestleMania SmackDown this Friday. Um, you already got the uh, Andre the Giant Battle Royal thing. I don't even know who all was involved in it. Um, my pick for that one, uh, I'm actually going to go with Damian Priest. Ever since they turned him heel and he lost the United States Championship, they haven't really done anything with him. So even though it's a meaningless... <laughs> meaning it's battle royal like you don't really get anything from it you just get to pose next to the the, the andre the giant trophy and that's it and then there's nothing else like there's no no more contender spot there's no title opportunity there's nothing it's just the fact that you say that you won the andre the giant memorial battle royal and that's it but just to make a prediction for, for prediction's sake i'm gonna with damian priest why i don't know he just needs something to do man the dude is uber talented he just needs something but yeah um another match that's gonna be on wrestlemania smackdown is gonna be a triple threat match for the intercontinental title uh, that's gonna be between ricochet and los Lotharios. he's gonna be facing on angel and humberto and the way that this match came about it was kind of stupid like you already had the um, championship contender match last week where he pretty much lost to both dudes. So, and, and on top of that, he lost this past Monday night on Raw. So I'm pretty sure Ricochet is gonna win because you can't just have the Intercontinental Championship. Keep the Intercontinental Champion moves as much. Like, he has some pretty good momentum going in, becoming um, Intercontinental Champion. He had a big win, of course, winning the Intercontinental Championship. And he hasn't really done anything since then except for lose to Los Lotharios and just, you know, like, so Ricochet has to win. What happens after this, I don't know. As far as WrestleMania itself, the actual card, we're gonna break down nights one and two, starting off with night one. And the first match we're gonna get into is that match between the New Day going up against the, um, I don't, do they even have a group name? It's Sheamus and, Sheamus and his boy, Sheamus, um, Ridge Holland with, um, Butch, my new favorite wrestler, Butch. I don't really acknowledge him by his old name, Pete Dunn. His name is Butch, damn it. <laughs> so, um, this is gonna be a match, a tag team match. And I'm pretty sure this is gonna be a six man tag, but of course, with Biggie out with a broken neck, they now had to condense it down to a tag team match. So, uh, as far as the feud goes, as far as the build, I don't really care. And that's pretty much the story for WrestleMania as a whole. Like, I'm excited for WrestleMania because it is WrestleMania, but the build, it hasn't really been there. Like, with matches like this, with the New Day against Sheamus and Ridge Holland, eh, eh, there's not, not much to it. The match itself should be fine. I'm actually going to pick Sheamus and Ridge Holland to win. For no particular reason, just, you know, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Next up, speaking of another match I really don't care about that doesn't really have a lot of build at all to it, we have Drew McIntyre, who last year was fighting for the WWE Championship. Isn't that, wait, was he the, no, he was the WWE Champion, right? Yeah, he was the WWE Champion going into WrestleMania last year. This year, he's going up against Happy Corbin. And again, I mean, they tried to make it mean something with Happy Corbin and um, Mad Cat Moss attacking Drew McIntyre and then Drew McIntyre returning at the Royal Rumble. They tried, but as far as an overall build, nobody really cares about this match. Like, at all. Like, nobody cares. Um, Drew McIntyre is going to win. He's probably going to win with a Claymore. And I'm also going to predict that Drew McIntyre is going to be the first person to kick out of the end of days because that's a move that nobody has kicked out of. 
at all. That's probably one of the most protected moves in WWE right now. And I think Drew McIntyre is going to be the first person to kick out of the end of days. Next up, we have Dominic Mysterio and his stepfather, Ray, going up against The Miz and Logan Paul. Um, Again, another match where, where they, they try. I think the initial few started because The Miz was jealous that Rey Mysterio was on the cover of, is on the cover of WWE 2K22, and he brought in Logan Paul, and I don't care. <laughs> I mean, the match should be fine. I think Logan Paul should do pretty good. Like, they, I've seen videos of him on social media training with The Miz, and The Miz really doing a good job of putting him over, putting over the fact that, yeah, that, um... Logan Paul is really catching on to the, the fact of the, the art of wrestling, that he's doing a good job. He's picking up on the little things and all that. And I think Logan Paul should do fine. I predict that the Mysterios win. I think that they're going to pin The Miz. And after the match, The Miz and um, Logan Paul are going to get into it. The Miz is probably going to go off and blame Logan Paul for his loss. And then Logan Paul is probably going to deck him or hit him or knock him out or hit him with a finish move. But the Mysterios are, are indeed going to win that match. The uh, next match that I want to talk about is Edge versus AJ Styles. I think this is going to be on night one. Let me check. Da, 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 da. Yeah, it's going to be on night one. Now, this is a match that a lot of people have been wanting for a very long time. Some would consider this a dream match. Myself included, like, I'm very excited. Like, once it was confirmed that it was going to be Edge versus AJ, I was like, all right, let's go. This is going to be dope. And as far as the build, I'm gonna say that the build itself for the match has been pretty mediocre. Um, the only exciting thing to come out of this was a character change from Edge. Edge turned heel. He has new music. He's um, dressing different. He's acting different. He's, e he's even wearing his hair differently. So yeah, you do have that slight character change from Edge. But as far as the overall build for the match, eh, it's been pretty mid, man. Nothing really extravagant, nothing really stupendous, nothing really ex nothing really to really brag about. I mean, the match itself is going to be fine. I, I'm pretty sure that this is going to be the best match on the card for night one. But um, as far as the overall build, uh, oh, it's, it's, it hasn't really been all that. It really has been up to snuff. Um, I'm going to predict that Edge wins. Edge is going to win because it wouldn't make sense to have him turn heel go through this dramatic character change just to have him lose at Wrestlemania. Edge is going to win. They're probably, he's probably going to cheat to win. And they're probably going to have a, um, a, a rematch at a Wrestlemania backlash. But yeah, Edge is going to win. Um, next match I want to talk about is uh, these for the SmackDown Tag Team Championships. You have the Usos going up against Shinsuke and Rick Boogs. Um... I think Shinsuke and Boogs are going to win. That's, that's it. That's all I got. I like the Usos as tag team champions, but if you have the Usos beat Shinsuke and Rick Boogs, then what? They've pretty much beaten every tag team, every face tag team, unless like there's a, a, the end of the brand split or they unify the tag team championships as well. I mean, there's nothing really else for the Usos to do, so... It's going to be pr pretty cool to see Shinsuke and Rick Boogs winning. Then you have um, Pat McAfee going crazy on commentary. I think that would make the most sense. Um, the Raw Women's Championship, Becky Lynch versus Bianca Belair. Now, out of the two Women's Championship matches, I'm going to say that this has the better build. It has the better intrigue. They've been doing a better job of keeping me invested into the feud. Um... And it actually has a pretty decent story. It's going back all the way back to SummerSlam, leading up to this moment, rare moment at WrestleMania. I think Bianca Belair is going to win. It would make the most sense because I don't think it's going to go. It's going to be a 26 second match. I think it's going to be an actual competitive match. Um, Bianca Belair is going to win. I think um, Becky's probably going to do something with the hair, with Bianca's hair. Um, but yeah, I think Bianca's going to end up winning the um, Raw Women's Championship. And as far as the other cha women's championship match, the SmackDown Women's Championship match, or as Ronda Rousey calls it, the uh, SmackDown Championship, um, I think Ronda's gonna win. She's gonna make Charlotte tap out. And that's it. Like, as far as the build, man, the build's been really lame. 
nobody really cares. I mean, when when the feud started, it was pretty dope. Um, the feud everyone wants to see is Becky going up against um, against Ronda. So I don't know why they opted to go with Ronda versus Charlotte. I mean, like I said, initially I was in, 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 um, intrigued by the matchup, but it, it seems like Ronda doesn't care and it doesn't show it, it's just kind of just breezing through, so they don't care. Me as a viewer and as a fan, I don't care either. The match itself should be fine, and uh, Ronda's gonna win the Raw Women's Championship, I mean the SmackDown Women's Championship, but that's it. It's gonna be Ronda winning and then nobody cares and originally this was supposed to be the main event but that got bumped off due to the kevin owens stone cold confrontation at the kevin owens show now this is going to be what closes out the match but i think what what, what closes out the night but i'm going to talk about what should probably be the main event you know, like the actual main event in a few minutes but as far as what goes on between kevin owens and stone cold i mean you already know what, what to expect. Stone Cold's gonna come out. Kevin Owens is gonna talk trash about Austin. He's gonna talk trash about Texas. Stone Cold's gonna say some words and they're gonna get into a fight. Stone Cold hits the stunner. Drink some Steve Weisers. A whole bunch of what chants. Oh, hell yeah. Give me a hell yeah. You already know what to expect. And it's gonna end with um, Stone Cold, you know, celebrating with Texas, drinking beer and all that as far as what should be the main event match because this is what Vince McMahon said um, would be his own special main event. You have Seth Rollins who is going to be at WrestleMania. It's been confirmed this past Monday night on Raw with um, an opponent that's going to be picked by Vince McMahon. Now, speculation, 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 rumors, rumors, rumors. Everyone is expecting it to be Cody Rhodes but there is also rumor that it might be Shane McMahon. I'm hoping for Cody. I do not need to see Shane McMahon beat Seth Rollins at the main event of night one of WrestleMania 38. Like, that's not... Uh -uh. Now, if they want to do something funny to kind of swerve the people, you can have Shane McMahon come out first and then introduce Cody or however you want to do it, but it does not need to end with Shane McMahon beating Seth Rollins. That's not good for business at all. Nobody wants to see that. I don't care what you say. Shame a man and his weak punches. I don't, uh, uh, nah, no, 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 no. And that's um, for night one. Night two, it, night two looks like it's gonna be slightly better. I mean, they both look pretty decent as far as an overall show. Night two, you of course have the main event, which we're gonna talk about in a few minutes, but we wanna, I wanna kick off with um, a match that was just made this past Monday on Raw, and that's between Bobby Lashley and Omos. Now, According to the internet and rumors and blah blah blah, this match was supposed to was was the match that was supposed to happen, and it was allegedly supposed to be for the WWE Championship. I don't know how true that is or not, but we are getting Bobby Lashley versus Omos. Now, if you're looking at this and thinking, okay, I don't want to see this, I don't care, I would agree, but from the interaction that they had this past Monday on Raw. I'm kind of invested into it. Like you have Bobby Lashley being the first first person to kind of take Almas off his feet. So, and of course, Bobby Lashley is back from injury, so that's pretty cool. Who wins? Uh, this is kind of tough. This is this is a tough one. Um, I'm gonna give it to Bobby Lashley. I think Bobby Lashley is gonna win because you gotta because after Brock Lesnar leaves, like you gotta have people. For the build for the championship. Also, Bobby Lashley never officially lost the WWE Championship, so you want to keep him looking strong for eventual an eventual title shot, right? So the next match is Sami Zayn versus Johnny Knoxville, and this is going to be in a no holds bar match. I think Johnny Knoxville is going to win, and I hope that they go all over the arena. I hope they go out through the crowd, and I hope Johnny Knoxville has that big giant hand from, from Jackass. <laughs> and he does not Sami Zayn back to Canada, but yeah, I think Johnny Knoxville is gonna win. I mean, I, come on now. Do I think this is gonna be a five-star classic? No, but it, it, it'll probably be fun. Johnny Knoxville is gonna win. As far as another match, where um, I guess you want to say a celebrity, but even though it's, um, even though Pat McAfee has wrestled before in WWE, 
on your NXT, he had a dope match against Adam Cole. And of course, the match in, in um, War Games where Pat McAfee showed out. I think this is actually going to be a sleeper match. This is probably going to be one of the best matches on the card because Pat McAfee can go. And Austin Theories is, is pretty good as well. So I think this is going to be a pretty good match. Sleeper, five star classic, eh, I wouldn't say about that. But I think Pat McAfee is definitely going to, go, going to show up and show up, especially at WrestleMania. Pat's going to get the win. Match should be good though, but Pat is definitely going to take the win and um, be undefeated at WrestleMania. So yeah, there you go. Um, now we have a fatal, fatal four way, a fatal four way for the um, the WWE Women's Tag Team Championships. That I'm gonna be honest, no, 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 nobody really cares about the Women's Tag Team Championships, and especially the way that they went about making this a fatal four because initially it was supposed to be. Quinn Selena and Carmella going up against Naomi and Sasha Banks. And I was totally cool with that as it by itself. And then it turned into a triple threat match with featuring Rhea Ripley and um, Liv Morgan. I'm like, ah, okay, that, that's pretty cool. And then you just add Shayna Baszler and Natalya out of nowhere. I'm like, bro, okay, all right, enough, enough. Hopefully um, Naomi and Sasha Banks wins. It's either gonna go between Rhea Ripley and Liv Morgan or Naomi and Sasha. I think it would make more sense to put the titles on Naomi and Sasha. That way you have Sasha Banks on both shows, Naomi on both shows, of course. <sighs> but yeah, I honestly don't care. I just want Naomi and Sasha to win. And of course, now you have the main event, the um, winner takes all, undisputed, unified, WWE, undisputed, universal, Heavyweight Championship of the Galaxy of the World, the greatest WrestleMania match of all time, the best, the world's greatest match, the match that'll end up the end all be all the Unification Title Championship match. Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar. This is gonna be the third match at um WrestleMania, and um Roman Reigns said in his promo, his um WrestleMania, not his WrestleMania Raw promo that it really bothers him the fact that he hasn't been able to beat him beat Brock at WrestleMania so of course I think the um, WrestleMania Sunday is going to be the big night that Roman Reigns finally defeats Brock Lesnar crowns himself as the undisputed champion will they have two championships or will it be one championship I don't know either way Roman Reigns is going to win he's going to rock out with his head held high with his finger in the air millions of dollars of pyro going off as the whole world acknowledges Roman Reigns as the head of the table, as the tribal chief, as the undisputed WWE Universal Champion. And yeah, yeah, so, uh, it's, like I said, the build for WrestleMania has been pretty weak, but it's WrestleMania, so I am still excited. Um, the most amazing, astounding, marvelous, astonishing, phenomenal, breathtaking, smashing, superb, fabulous, fantastic, tremendous, wondrous, monumental, mind-blowing, terrific, radical, colossal, dynamite, staggering. All of those words are the definition for one word, and that is stupendous two-night WrestleMania event that you've ever seen in your entire life. Most stupendous WrestleMania event ever premium live event pay-per-view whatever you want to call it wrestlemania <laughs> anyway man let me know what you guys think in the comment section below of course leave your predictions in the comment section below are you excited for wrestlemania have you been excited for the build are you what do you think it's wrestlemania weekend let me know what you guys think in the comment section below of course as always like comment and subscribe you guys take care be easy i'm out peace stupendous